My name is Robin Meyer and I'm an artist. My name is Ali Momeni and I'm an artist and professor. It started by discovering Gabriella Gibson's paper, a researcher in Greenwich University who's doing a lot of research on mosquitoes. And she noticed that two mosquitoes would tune into the same frequency. We stumbled across this publication and both of us have a musical background, so this tuning in was really, I think, the part that got us hooked on, on the story. The title refers to a relationship that I had with mosquitoes and you partly also and many people in the world, mosquitoes are world villain. I happen to be very allergic to them, so in a way this was a calling out to the mosquitoes to make peace, so the word truce refers to that. So we're playing a frequency to the mosquito which is derived from Drupad, from an Indian singer. And so the mosquito hears the song and it believes that it's a mosquito of the opposite sex. So when a mosquito hears a sound from another mosquito... It begins to tune in, it begins to follow it. So they flap their wings exactly at the same speed, the same face, so their wings won't get entangled when they couple in flight. Each mosquito hears the same stimulus song. Thinking that it's a mosquito of the opposite sex, each mosquito will tune in to this same song, and eventually all three mosquitoes are singing in unison. We start in the preparation room in the back where there are cages of mosquitoes and we catch one of those mosquitoes with a test tube inside its cage and we immediately put it on ice to anesthetize it to make it go to sleep. We have a few seconds to tether the mosquito with a wire with a piece of beeswax at the end. So we take this wire and a lighter and we melt the beeswax on its tip and then we attach it to the mosquito's back exactly between its wings and its head. There's a tiny little surface where you can attach it without putting wax on its wings or over its eyes. Within a few minutes, the mosquito wakes up and it starts flying, except it's not going anywhere. It's tethered to the wire. And if that works, then we can bring it out to the installation and attach it to the sculpture. In the sculpture, we'll attach it with a clip onto its contact microphone, which will then amplify the sound of the mosquito. And the mosquito hears the sound on the little speaker next to it, to which it will tune in. A lot of people ask us if, if the mosquitoes are hurt or if we got complaints by animal rights campaigners. And in our experience, it really creates a different rapport between the visitors and the mosquitoes in this truce, because they suddenly become aware of the mosquito as something alive and producing a beautiful sound and it really creates a relationship which is which is really nice.